it going? <laughs> so, you want to tell them what we did? We went to the Sea Lion War with the SCA, which is also known as the Bitter Waters War. This was a medieval market day at an SEA event. So a little bit smaller than a Ren Fair, but still a whole lot of fun. And we did definitely have a blast with it, for mm -hmm. sure. So here's our new life. Hey guys, so I am stealing a bush for the moment because I'm a couple blocks away from my house. Uh, currently we are on our way to the bank uh, so that I can withdraw some money for this weekend. <laughs> because a lot of the places where I'm buying and going aren't gonna really have internet. decided to do is uh, I decided last minute that I wanted to make this one a waste center. Um, a crocheted waste center. Uh, we didn't actually end up using it on day of but maybe in another video. Um, but here's some footage of me crocheting like a mad woman to, uh, to try and get it done. Um, yeah. And, uh, I did actually sort of finish it, or at least got it good enough, and, um, it's pretty. It's lovely. Just didn't end up using it this time around. Cool. Morning. It is 6 a.m. nearly. I have woken up and, uh, fed my cats. And now I'm going to do some arts and crafts before we go to the Ren Fair. I want to make this Ren Fair friendly because pretty sure lemons won't cut it, even though those are delightful. I have some woven vinyl with me and some safety pins. This kind of gives the texture of woven leather, so we're going to see what we can do. So that didn't work, but because I had the safety pins out, I did grab a bag of them, just in case anything happens. So the solution to carrying the wheelie cart today is, there is no solution, that is the solution, um, to carrying this, because this is a basket, and they are awkward and cumbersome. Um, Rowan might be using one today as her purse. Or might be using this today as her purse, or she might use something else. But I want to make this as less cumbersome as possible. So that is why we are bringing the wheelie cart. Um, even though the two of them together will be a juggling act. But if I don't have to carry anything at the end of the day, and I can strap it all to the wheelie cart... I'm going to thank myself later. The first tea. I don't know what to drink. If you're wondering if I ever know what to drink in the morning, typically not. Are you looking for buried treasure? You're not gonna find it. That's just plastic. Please don't eat it. Blackberry Blast this morning. I know I'm not sponsored by David C, but I couldn't help it. I have this set up. So lovely. Okay. I've wasted too much time.
time to get dressed. Hey neighbors. Rowan's still sleeping, so let's do this out here. Now, as there is a rule of boots before corset, there is also a rule of makeup before cosplay. And this means that I need to get only halfway into my outfit, do my makeup, and then put the rest of my outfit on. Yar, we be ready. Mostly. Perfect. Ready to go? Let's go. Drink up me hot easy oh ho! And this long, treacherous hike to the Ren Fair continues. Um, we have gotten off the bus. We have made a new friend. <laughs> and we are currently walking down a long, hot, windy country road next to a highway. So, good times. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> right? Right? Yes. And obviously, I'm interested in music. I'm also a Shakespearean, and if you get me started on Shakespeare at some point, please bring a chair and bring lunch because you'll probably be needing both by the end of it. Actually, there's never an end to it. Um, but penny whistles have always interested me. I love Irish music. I've not a drop of Irish blood in my body, but I'm Celtic. Um, but uh, it's not always the same. All Irish are Celts, but not all Celts are Irish. We are uh, 
uh, currently stop it. <laughs> we are currently waiting for the end of the day, which is almost here, so that we can join in to the after party event, which is called Bardic. And uh, we're very much looking forward to that. There's apparently okay. <clears throat> Good time to be had. We stayed until 10 p.m. The REM fair closed at 4. Woo! 12 hour day! <laughs> I think we made some friends! <laughs> they wanted us to stay later. Hell, they wanted us to sleep overnight. Mm, not happening. Because, you know, <laughs> you over there. We, uh, yeah, we, we have really kittens. Need boys. Need that, uh, ones. New detentions. And food. Yeah. So, um, I guess this is our new life. <laughs> I got a sunburn. <laughs> show show the trash. Uh, really bad sunburn. Toasty, toasty warm. Yeah, sunburn. Oops. I think I got some too, but I'll show up later. Right now it is time for pizza, bed. unpacking, and bed. Yeah. Bye. So, what was your favorite part? The guy with the hammer. <laughs> he was very cool. That's that's our new friend Dave. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Told you you'd be famous. <laughs> I think my favorite part was um, our other new friends yeah. um, and oh, Emma the dog. The dog. sitting in my lap mm. for 20 minutes getting snuggles. <laughs> What's the one thing that we forgot to do? Come on, tell them. We may or may have not have forgotten to film our costumes. <laughs> I mean, I got a number of shots of you, but the only shot I could find was posted after the event and taken by somebody else, and it's this shot right here. Um, so there's me. I kind of look like a pirate, um, or at least I'm trying to. And uh, those of you who say pirates aren't medieval or renaissance or whatever, pirates were from... 13th century to 17th century. That's the golden age of piratry. So I'm well within period. It's just I'm not period appropriate. Okay? Okay. Closet cosplays for the win. Ah. What do you got? Oh, our savior of the weekend. Beef jerky. Yay. <laughs> not sponsored. So the only thing I think I would change about the event is that there wasn't enough food stalls or food vendors um, or bathrooms. There was one spot where you could go to the bathroom unless you paid to go and be over on the SEA side like we did. And then you were privy to the privies. 
but <laughs> um, there was only one spot to specifically go and it was over by a traditional food stall that closed before we got there. I mean, if you're an SCA member, you get food, right? Like, there's there's mm -hmm. plenty of people that will bring food, or you can pay someone ahead of time to make you a meal. Mm -hmm. um, dinner is always called, and many people will go to dinner. They'll bring food, mm -hmm. uh, and then you can also bring your own as well if you are on the SCA side. Yeah, so most of the SCA people were camping for two nights. They got there on Friday. The event was Saturday. And the market was Saturday, and then they were there to Sunday. So most of them have their tents, they've got their stuff, they've got their food. We were not camping. We showed up at 10 a.m. with a whole bunch of snacks, thank the gods, because I'm not a huge fan of shawarma as it is. And that was the only food truck there. And by the time we actually got around to being hungry around noon, 1 p.m.-ish, A, the lineup was fucking ginormous because... They had, like, 2,500 people go through that little market in the span of eight hours. Bravo, guys. Bravo. Like, ten to four. So, six hours. They had a lot of people go through there. And there were no food stalls inside the market. There was just the one hot dog stand and the shawarma truck. The shawarma truck was sold out almost exclusively by about 1 p.m. And the hot dog truck ran out of buns, like, three, four times. Yeah. We did eventually get a hot dog when they got back with buns, but we lived off of beef jerky, beef jerky and chips all week, all day. Yep, and uh, the water that we brought. Thank God. However, when we went over to the SEA side and after an entire day of making friends with these people, we were invited into a relaxing tent that mm -hmm. somebody had turned into their kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and this was this gorgeous patchwork tent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we sat there for about four hours. Someone brought a uh, watermelon out from mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm -hmm. Another one brought cookies to us later on, biscottis. Mm -hmm. Those were good. Those were delicious. Uh, somebody else gave us, um, oh, actually wow. I think it was the same one that brought mm -hmm. us the watermelon. Mm -hmm. Uh, they also gave us some white claws. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she gave us the white claws, and then about 30 minutes later, her husband and daughter came by with, a, like, a whacking tray of watermelon. Like, it had, the watermelon had to have been about this big. And then we, uh, we gave our chips to the fray. And some beef jerky. Yep. And I think there was, like, something else, like, mildly small that was also, like, attributed. Mm. Oh, and there was also a fruit loaf that we didn't... Never fruit actually nut got loaf to try. That we didn't actually get to try, which is sad. Mm-hmm. Because uh, it looked delicious. And there were some dates. Dates, yes. Uh, set out in a bowl. Mm -hmm. And plenty of water. Um, mm -hmm. And some Gatorades. <laughs> But those are for, of course, uh, the night yep, that we them. were uh, partaking with. Um, but yeah, these people were just like super accommodating and they were like, you know what? If you want to stay for Bardic tonight, like there's going to be food, there's going to be merrymaking, there's mm -hmm. going to be songs, alcohol. stories, campfire, Drinks. we'll feed you, we'll make sure that you're, you've got a roof to stay under if you want to stay the night. Mm -hmm. We didn't end up staying for Bardic, which I kind of wish that we did, but at the same time, we were knackered. Oh my god. So, by the time we kind of get into a little bit of a tangent right here, so I'm just going to uh, fast forward a bit. Okay? Okay. Yeah, and uh, now we're going to other events. Now there will be more. Mm -hmm. um, this one's got to get a passport so we can uh, yeah. get to the one that's across the water from Seattle. That's the next step. So did you have fun? Mm-hmm. Are you tired? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My sunburned? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you got pretty bad sunburn, didn't you? Oopsies. So what's the next outfit that we're making? Clothing. Clothing. Lots, Lots of clothing. All the clothing, like wardrobe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So there's going to be a couple of videos of that. Stay tuned. Need to buy linen. Yeah, need to buy lots of linen and cotton. And wool. And cotton and wool and twill and whatever. Hmm. <laughs> Period appropriate fabric. Yes. And uh, we need to get a little bit of camping gear. Have and that. I think, well, we need to retrieve it. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. And then we need to get a couple of other things, I think. But um, those will be in later videos for sure. Uh, or on random TikTok videos. So make sure that you stay tuned to the TikTok as well because there will be a lot of back and forth, I assure you. Uh, Instagram will probably have pictures of any hauls that we do. So just make sure that you stay tuned to all of our media. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming some for some R&R. &R. And uh, this may be our new life. Did you have a good day of snoozing? Yeah. Oh look, allergies. <laughs> so. <laughs> Stop making bloopers. Does your partner do this too? Where they just like randomly bite you?